happy November, everyone. It is November 2022, and we are rocking out again, doing another month of exciting teachings for Crew Equipped. You know what this is. Crew Equipped is a, a youth uh, ministry. Crew itself is a youth ministry based out of uh, Faith Walk Harvest Center in Carpentersville, Illinois, and we love to uh, have you come and visit us one day. So if you are in the area, or come on, or if you visit in the Chicago area, come visit us at 400 Maple Avenue. But if you are also a middle school or high school student, we would love, love, love for you to check in with us. Check in with us in the comments, email us. Um, the information is below. Um, or you can also come and see us. We have class every Sunday. Um, and we would love to see you there. Uh, this month, we are going to be talking about Family Matters. It's November. We're about to get into the holiday season. And what better time to talk about Family Matters than now? It is very likely that you are going to be around your family in the next couple of weeks for one of my favorite holidays, Thanksgiving. And so we want to talk about some real issues or real matters of the family. I won't call them issues. We'll say matters of the family and how to deal with them in a biblical way um, and let you know, hey, you ain't out there by yourself. You're not alone. Everybody's family matters, and everybody has something that their family may be going through or has gone through. Um, we, we uh, Minister Noble and I, um, when we were talking about this month, we decided, you know what, this is a good topic to talk about, but we started to think about the show Family Matters. Um, it's, a, you know, it's an older show. It was, I think it came out like in the 80s or something. Uh, but, you know, there was some very iconic characters in that show. Um, and so we kind of want to, like, do a little bit of comparison. Uh, to some of the characters in the show, uh, to what um, we're going to talk about this month. But that probably will be next week, so you got to tune in for that. But for this first week, we're going to talk about the topic of one happy family. Now, we understand and know that everybody's family may look happy on the outside, but are they really happy? Or what is it that sometimes makes the families not happy at some point in their time? And so I want to talk about a family in the Bible. Um, and one of the main characters in this family, his name was Joseph. Joseph was is probably a very common story. Um, if you haven't read it, I encourage you to do so like turn to Genesis 37. I'm going to give you the uh, Keisha version of it, uh, but I want you to read it on your own time. But here we go. We have Joseph. He, was, he had a daddy and a whole bunch of brothers, okay? His daddy loved him um, probably because, guess what? He had Joseph in his old age, and he absolutely loved Joseph. And so he had a whole bunch of brothers, and his brothers did not like him because... Um, he was the daddy. He was his, his, his dad's favorite son. And so he was so much his dad's favorite son that he had a coat made out for him. Now, what happens is, is that Joseph could, like, do no wrong. And he always got extra stuff. He, all, his, dad, his dad always told the brothers, look out for your brother Joseph, You on and on and on. Hey, maybe you uh, are in a big family, or even if you have siblings, or uh, even if you don't have siblings, maybe you're in a family where, like, you there's that favorite cousin or that favorite grandchild or that favorite niece. You know, everybody, you know, some in families, they may send, tend to tease you. Oh, you grandmama's favorite, or you granddaddy's favorite, or you mom's favorite, or your dad's favorite. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing. Grandparents, um, parents, Aunts, they're all gonna tell you that each of the each individual is their favorite. And it's the truth, right? 
in a, in, you know, so, but there's sometimes there is a little bit of favoritism shown. Sometimes it, it just kind of happens. Well, that, you know, sometimes we can mistake favorites uh, for favor, a favor for favorites. Let's just say it that way. Some people do have favor on their lives. I know that you as a Christian, if you're watching this, I can guarantee you that you have favor on your life. And so I don't want you to, you know, back down or be upset because you have favor, the favor of God on your life. That favor gives you access to so many things, so many things. You don't need to get attention um, from others. Um, you know, it's not necessary. So when we talk about Joseph's brother, brothers, they were so jealous. And because they were jealous, they wanted the attention that Joseph was getting. And so in order to do that, they didn't realize Joseph was favored and it wasn't about him being a favorite. But what they did was they sold, well, first of all, they threw him in a pit and then they sold the brother, he, they sold him off for not a whole bunch of money, okay? And they left him and they didn't care where he was. They left him because the, they had a single mind of now getting the dad's attention because they knew that Joseph was daddy's favorite. And so now with Joseph out of the way, they're like, maybe dad is finally going to pay me attention. I want you to do me a favor. If whatever you do, remember we're talking about family matters this month. Don't sell out your family for the sake of getting attention. Whether it's your earthly family or your God-given family, don't sell your family out just to try to get attention from someone or something. It's not worth it. God has a purpose for each and every one of you, no matter if you think that you're not the favorite or you think that no one in the family likes you. You have purpose. So there's no need to sell your family out or um, talk about them behind their backs or do them wrong or dog them out on social media. Try to, you know, uh, blast all the bad stuff there is about them. Don't do that. Don't sell them out just so you can get attention. It's not worth it. God has a purpose for you, too. All right. And so let's go back to this. Why, why are we talking about this? Because God ordained the family structure. And uh, we don't talk about it enough, especially when it comes to, like, middle school and high schoolers. You know, we, we like, uh, we grow up and as teenagers, uh, we're just expected to, like, like, love to be around our family and love to hang out and just be perfect. But why do we, why must we do this? Why is God requiring us to love? Why is God requiring, requiring us to live as a family unit? Okay, let's talk about it. So 1 Corinthians 13 and 4 says, Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, and it does not boast, it is not proud. Well, the main reason God doesn't want us to be jealous, especially in our family structure, is because the core of Christianity is love. And it talks about how we should not envy. We should not be boastful. We should not be jealous. So if we truly, truly say that we love Christ and we are really living for God, no matter what our family is going through or no matter who is deemed the favorite, we, in our core, we should have love. I ain't saying it's always easy. I'm not saying that this is something that you can just turn the switch on today. But I can tell you one thing, if you learn um, very quickly not, and not be like Joseph's brothers and throw your family or your earthly family or even your Christian family, your, the, the family that you have at church or um, your supporting family, don't, you, know, you don't sell them out, God is going to reward that. He's going to make sure you have everything you need. And so I want you to join me next week because remember I told you we're going to do a little bit of comparison with the show Family Matters and we're going to talk more about Family Matters and continue our story about Joseph and his brothers and we're going to see where it goes. So thank you for joining us for this first episode of Crew Equip in November and I will see you next week. <laughs>